I'm so happy no Amazing. one called me and said, stop that fucking nigga word, nigga. <laughs> you know, sometimes you get the ADS, you know these people, mm-hmm. right? Nigga's not good no more. No, and that ain't gonna take nigga. I like been. that. They're gonna take nigga from us now. Oh, yeah. yeah. They get ready to take nigga. I like nigga. Now that's something oh, I like no. the white man gave me, they're gonna take it away. I don't want to get canceled, but I have a very unpopular, I have a very popular opinion that I think another word needs to be claimed by a whole other community. Mm-hmm. Nigga, 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 nigga. I think, nigga. I think, the, I think mentally yeah, impaired my ears community uh, needs to <laughs> take back the word retard. Because right now that's a hard, you can't say that Listen, word. Listen, I don't say that word. My wife and everybody in the house See, got me on there you go. Out. But uh, imagine, imagine, and, and this is just pure, pure comedy sakes, I apologize beforehand and afterhand. These are all apologies ahead of time. This is just a thought. That's it, all right? Imagine that community reclaim that word like, you know, black people have reclaimed the N-word. I mean, they could just be tossing it around and then they had the power back. Now, let me let you know something about nigga, okay? Let me teach you something about nigga. Nigga shit, mm-hmm. nigga shit, you know? You don't even have to be a nigga, don't even have to be involved. I mean, just based off of what I can see, I use the word. I'm not going to sit here and lie like I don't. Um, do I feel uncomfortable? when other people use it or people of other races use it. I mean, if we're going to be honest, it depends. Um, More so than anything else, I feel like it depends on where the person is from. And it depends. I mean, yeah, it depends, man. I I could go in depth about it. I don't really want to. Unless you guys would want that in a separate video, I I wouldn't mind doing it. But um, one thing I will say, though, is... If I'm around people who I wouldn't feel comfortable using the word, I don't say it around them. That way, it never comes up, you know? Uh, I do my best at the very least. It's difficult, of course, but it's something that's it's, that I try my best to avoid because that conversation is awkward. It's weird. I don't want to have it. So it just makes it a lot easier for me to not have to explain a double standard by just not even opening that door to begin with. For it to be nigga shit. Mm-hmm. So how you gonna stop people saying the word nigga? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. Man. Yeah, I don't know. It's a it's a battle worth fighting, man, because that word has got the worst connotation. It's, it does. And it's holding back a certain respect for outlook I don't feel, on this I culture. I don't feel held back. I feel ascended. It's not holding you back. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth, though. But He's dead serious. Yeah. I He's know. It's definitely I feel special holding special being a nigga. Though. I won't call him an Afro. I'm not an Afro-American. I'm a nigga. Yeah, that doesn't work when you're trying to get a job. You know yeah. Well, they know. Everybody know right now. I'm a nigga. Anybody want to hire me? Anybody want to hire Mike Tyson for anything? I know. I know. I think. In particular, he's speaking about, well, not I think, he's clearly speaking about his position on the word and his viewpoint, which, I mean, I guess to a certain extent, that's all you really can speak on for sure. You know how you feel about something. But I see what Keenan is saying outside of people, I guess, in their tax bracket and stuff. You know what I mean? The, the, the game might change when you, with that word. Oh, I'm fucking blowing billions. I am a nigga. He said okay. it. Okay. But that doesn't like mean they can say it to him, though. Michael, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, they, they won't. No, Michael, don't, don't I feel like this is, me, but this is who I am. to tell you that that's not the case at all. You are a brilliant man. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay, I'm not too. I'm not word. too. I'm not too. Mm. No doubt. I'm but not too. Mm. I think the misunderstanding of trying to reclaim something that is attached to such bullshit still to this mm. day. I'm not, listen, I'm not gonna go that route. I'm gonna, I'm, the, I'm a nigga. Yo, what you doing is beautiful. I'll support you, but I let me stay a nigga. You, you think they gonna say nigga in 40 years while we in space? Like niggas yeah. are astronauts? No, no, yeah. <laughs> because as long as rap music is saying it, there's gonna be a place for it. This is gonna be cool, you know what I mean? Like, because rap music is now pop music at this point. Uh, pop music with a lot more gun violence. <laughs> The misogyny, I suppose, um, and materialism. You can't forget the materialism. But yeah, I think that as long as that's the popping thing, people are going to see that word and not pay any attention, put any second mind to it because it's so popular. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm pretty sure that there are little kids who don't really realize the connotation of it, you know? It's used so heavily, it's used so frequently in culture that they kind of just view it as a, another word until somebody explains to them that it's not, you know? 
I think listen, you think that word will survive that, that long? For sure. Yes, this word will. It this could. Word, listen, it's not a beginning. Once it began, and it never end. Once yeah, I mean, began, nobody's saying honky like no that. more. What was the last time you heard honky? Me. You don't hear none of that shit. That's my point. <laughs> Me. You know what I'm saying? Right. You don't hear none of that shit towards anybody else's culture, bro. A lot of the white fucked up shit. No, 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 gone, no, no, right? You don't hear that shit in anybody else's culture on this planet. Nobody is self-deprecating like what, that. Why are the white? What are you the white words? What, what, what are they like? Uh, cracker, honky. Crack, cracker's gone. Cracker's gone. Like the the thing gone. Like, 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 he was just a little illerating. You know? <laughs> nah, it's crazy because they dead being cracker off for like Twitch and shit, which is crazy. <laughs> it's not, it's not, I mean, it's not, but I mean, I don't know. Because I guess when you can't ban nigga when everybody uses it. But uh, you can't even say cracker now. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I, I wonder. You know what I'm curious? I wonder if nigger with a hard R is means for banning or whatever the case is. I don't know. I don't know. They go Keenan's nah, greatest nah, racist hits. We talk nah, about nah, nah. these things on SNL. Yeah, I don't listen. You know, I don't, I don't listen. They all go. They all go. No, yeah. but no. listen. Still, I just other it's Italian. They do depths and people that make the other times. So I wish you wasn't Italian. I wish you wasn't Spanish. I wish you wasn't this. We all have these people in our life. Yeah, but Italians don't necessarily run around calling each other goomba. They might yeah, call yeah, each other wise guy go, or whatever. So might they go? Well, you know, well, Spanish listen, people hey, don't call each other wet like, Do you hang in there white? They all call each other names. It's mm. still jealous of one another. No, no, no. I mean, I got Italian people living. in my family, so I'd be around, you know, other cultures, like, for real, Listen, for real. the thing of the games, this is the real deal, right? White people did a good job of killing white people way before we got here. Facts. Okay? People are going to kill. That's, that's just what it that's is. That's true. And in order to kill, we got to dehumanize you. How do I dehumanize you? You fucking wop, you fucking nigga, you fucking stick. That doesn't, that doesn't deserve respect. I hear what you're saying there. However, the I like how I hear what you're saying there. However, I like that. I like that. Continual usage like that is going to be a positive for the culture is mm -hmm. the, the biggest misunderstanding in black culture. I right know. Now well, maybe it's not, but it hasn't. It's proven, it's proven you wrong. You got white people saying that. You got everybody. The word is bigger than you ever can conceive. Yeah, but how we're also. Can, is that a good thing? the most hunted people on the planet because mm -hmm. of this disrespect towards this culture. Yeah. Like we looked at as less than, and that word perpetuates that mindset, in my right, so, opinion. So what you want us to be? You want us to be... We want us to be safe? We, we want us to be safe? Look at you, man. You're the you most fucking be... ferocious motherfucker that ever you, walked the planet. You could be a warrior and not be ferocious. You could be a warrior of yeah. mine. You can be all of that shit, but you are to be respected. And I feel like... The uses of Listen. that word cuts into okay. the if you I went to if Kazakhstan and then some Asian motherfucker was like, yo, what up, my nigga? Like, or when I go yeah, to Africa, know, when you go to Africa, Africa, right? Africans what up, my nigga? They be like, my nigga. And that's they great. Love yeah. saying but guess that. what? No, I, Here I, I, in America, side, by the when way. you getting side. pulled <laughs> over by the police, yeah. the uses of that word yeah. and how they perceive you could get you fucking killed. I'm like, that's, I think that's pro probably the. The ultimate point of what he's saying. Um, I don't even in the slightest think that say black people didn't use that word. They never adopted it and claimed it as or I should say we we never claimed it as our own. I don't think that there wouldn't be people out there who still wouldn't use it in the way that they do as a means of tearing you down or as a means of belittling and dehumanizing you as as Mike mentioned but I think it would be less people that I think for sure I don't know if as many people would use it you know because to a certain extent We've made it okay. Granted, like hard R and N I G G E R and I N I G G A, they're different meanings. But I don't know if that connotation falls on the ears of somebody who's not from the culture to understand it. You get what I'm trying to say? 
Hey, listen, I, I know what you, you mean. You know what I'm saying? And, like, but, we being hunted crazy. out here, like, we less than. <laughs> like, That's why I am. They're going to have to kill me then. Nah, bro, we can't I want to die, then they're going to have to kill me then. Nah, man. I'm, I'm not, not, I'm, I'm not even that. talking about for you. I'm talking about for the children, for the neighbors, yeah, for the, the future. future, for the that. Yeah. We supposed listen, to be protecting these you know, younger generations. You know, we supposed to be the ones I feel, to, I feel like, like they'll find another name then. Yes, please. Before it was a nigga, there was another name. Let's go back to my brother. What happened to my brother? That was the shit. That was the shit. What you, I don't know. Does what, that sound cool? What you what looking for? Brother? What you looking I mean, for is not a reality. You have to believe it. We have to make it a reality. I don't think it's an impossible thing. I just yeah. think, I think the people impossible. that can Listen, influence things I believe. like I yourself think it's more impossible than our work. life. I mean, look at look at the word the f word. Everybody said it like crazy. Oh, can I say fag? I don't know. Can I say that? You can I don't say like it, word, but, but I'm not saying it to like. It's crazy. He doesn't like that word. I'm not going there. You don't like that word. That word is out of here. Like a community. We got that up out of here. There's people, obviously, who still use it, but you would hear that shit in stand-up routines. People would throw faggot, 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 all this other shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was commonplace for you to say that. You would hear it in movies, not in a way where it's like, it's said by a character who's inherently positioned as a bigot or a homophobe or whatever discriminatory adjective or whatever you wanna, you wanna use. They were just used by regular people in regular conversation. That's done. Now, you have the people who are hardcore homophobes who still use the word. You'll never be able to completely eliminate the usage of a word. But what you can do is significantly chop off the usage of it by condemning it in everyday speech. Now, you have to only say these words when you're in the company of people who either agree with you or just doesn't give a fuck enough to make mention of it. That's a word I don't use. I don't use faggot anymore. Except, I guess, when I'm in, in the context of saying it. I'm not a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a fucking grown man. I'm not the type of person who's like, yeah, the, the N-word. Like, Y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm not going to say the B-word. I'm going to say bitch because we know what the fuck we're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, But outside of that, I don't use that in personal life because it's an ugly word. I've grown and understood that it was an ugly word, so I understand what what uh, what what uh, Keenan is saying because and, and excuse me what um what uh, who kid is saying because we got that word up out of here because it was viewed as inappropriate, hateful, done with. I guess I say that to say that the possibility of that is possible. It is is it is a possible reality. Is it a likely reality? I don't know. But possible, I definitely agree that we can get the word nigga out of here. If if everybody, or not everybody, but if culturally we came to an understanding that it wasn't a good thing. He came and eradicated that word, like legally. Like, you I can't mean, say that shit. Kicked, no, I don't believe that. For being I don't hunted. believe yeah. that. I believe they people, did stop it. I believe they people stopped educated it, themselves saying this is not right. Nah, but your mic, they legally nah. stopped. Yo. No, 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 this, this is his point. Let's, let, all right, let's, let's be real, ready? I, the reason why, all right. The truth of the matter is this. The word fucking sucks. A reclamation of it, it's a haphazard attempt to say we reclaim something. Let's just be honest. It's not really smart. I've never heard any other nationality talk, talk to each other with the same degrading word. Now, hold on, ready? Our situation is unique. We're one of the rarest people that stayed in the country they were enslaved in, mm. and, and we're the biggest parts of the foundation culturally and everything. But the issue is we have such a... Our only three major extracts, uh, exports, and one of them's entertainment, and we're one of the biggest chunks of entertainment on the planet. And when we export that word, we're exporting sporting the connotation that it's okay to utilize that word facts can i get a big facts in the chat please big facts now i use the n-bomb every fucking day 24 7 so do but i i'm in that nuanced paradox where i understand exactly what he's saying mm -hmm. where there should be better but if I you can't just expect people right, check to this like out, take it the right way no, you know what i'm saying out. you gotta check educate me me right mike if i'm not a nigga i'm nothing not true He's he, he's he's holding on to himself, I guess. No, no, it's true. If I believe it's true. Yeah, but you should. No, no, believe no, no. That. You can't control the way I fucking think, nigga. I'm not trying to. Then don't talk about it. That's what it is. Nah, if I don't, bro. if I'm not a nigga, I'm nothing. So don't tell me I'm not. Why would you? Are think you a sign? Because it is. It's that way. It's that way. It is. I don't know why, but it's that way. 
There's nothing you can do. You, you educate me. Now, I've seen Mike get like this a few times on the podcast when he's talking about, especially like himself. When he talks about himself, I guess the, the dark parts of himself or whatever, he'll defend it almost. I mean, I guess you, you it's, a, it's a part of you. You identify with it. I forgot who it was the last time he did that shit to. It was T.K. Kirkland. He blacked on this nigga. So I used to hate myself. Ah, you know what I'm saying? I understand because it's, it's a part of your psyche. And especially when that part of yourself... It was a, respectfully was a pivotal part to you being where you are now because that dark energy was probably the driving force throughout his entire fight career. So you clearly have that dark energy to thank along with the preparation, along with the discipline and all of the other factors it took to become such a great fighter but that that darkness that anger that that you know that energy that's a part of you too so he defends it and i think that he gets aggressive when people try to uh tell him that he shouldn't identify with it the way that he that he does that's the way i'm programmed i feel like it's like a, it's a world it's, a, it's like worldly you like, this shit is, like, the norm. Yeah. It's like, I don't think... Yeah, you, I mean, it's also it's the norm like to have race. a bunch of fucking armies in every single yeah. country, and then all of a sudden, one of them invades the country type mm -hmm. shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're supposed to just accept the norm just because that's what's happening at the current time. Yeah, that's a fact. Like, it, I don't even think it's the norm anymore. It nah, just became, niggas, it became something else. Man, I just don't it's not norm. It's, it I, became, just, I just don't believe that we need the educators, but we got to get rid of that word. No. That word inspires us. If it doesn't... Look how weak we are now. I'm not talking about us. We don't need the inspiration for us. Uh, it inspires we have it. me. Inspi you know what I mean? Me I'm talking like I'm about the connotation that happens when you are at the mercy of a motherfucker that is looking at you as a nigga. That's, that's a that's problem. A, that's, that's a different side. Yeah, it's looking at like police yeah, officers. That's they, a problem. Police Anybody officers don't. don't they ain't thinking about you. you I talk to you. I think he's. He's. I don't know if he's hearing Keenan. Like, he was up until a point, but I don't know if he's really hearing what he's saying now because I don't think that you could disagree with that portion of it. Maybe you don't have, maybe you don't ID identify with the, the concept that we need to, to not say that shit. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I use the word. If, if, if like, nationally we came together and it was like a black coalition, like, yo, we're not going to use that fucking word no more. I'm like, all right, cool, man. Fuck it. You know what I mean? I'm not going to. I'm not going to go against the grain just to go against the grain, but that's never going to happen respectfully. But what Keenan is saying, it takes on a different life when you are at the mercy of somebody who's looking at you as a nigga. The connotation between nigger and nigga doesn't really live there anymore. You're just a nigga, nigger, whatever, black person, inferior. That's how you're, you're being viewed at. In that situation. And that's what he's talking about. And I don't think that you can argue that. But I talk to all these yeah. people there. They're white. I don't care. They all look at me as a nigga. If they don't, I expect them to. That's where we agree to disagree. Because I, I look at you too. as a king, my brother. You know what I'm saying? I look at you as one of the greatest people that ever walked this planet. The things you have done in your lifetime is so far away from the original connotation of that word. It's crazy. You don't know my shadow. I don't. I know what you've done in my life. Shadow, my shadow um, it, it counterproducts everything you say about me, brother. I mean, my I know what you've done you don't in the know light, about my brother. Me. You can't oh, okay. have a shadow without the light. And what okay. you've done in the light is but, phenomenal. But you know what's crazy? He's a guy that got kidnapped by three elements of entertainment. You got the underworld, you got the entertainment, you got sports, and you got, like, now you got us, the humans. He's yeah. multi-dimensioned. So Layered. He looks at the word differently. Just like Jay-Z be like, I'm that no, nigga. No, we all, I mean, our I think, culture has turned that word yeah, that's what I'm into something But why else. nobody ain't putting up money to legally stop that shit? You can't why say would you want to stop that? You can't say Because our own community's not stopping it, Exactly. Yes. exactly. That's, that's the point. Because I'm not stopping point. it. Right. That's, that's the, the point. It's our community, bro. Yeah. I can't stop it. I can't stop you right now. I can't. I'm not trying to stop it. I'm just trying to say to let it be known. you just trying to make me it's not even stuff. about what black people think about it. It's about what other motherfuckers think about it. And you know, it's it's happening. Like a lot of white people know they can't Maybe when I die, there won't like be that. no more niggas. But until I die, I'm a nigga. 
the nuance of it is is, is this. Yeah, he def he's defending that, John. He's defending it. I like I'm not. It's not even. I can't even. I can't judge him. Cause I'm in the same boat. I do the same shit. I'd be a hypocrite if I was to start picking out judgments over his usage of the word. But um, I just, I, even if it's not, it, it didn't happen right then and there. I, I, I hope that he he stopped and he listened to what he said about, you know, the word taking on a different connotation when in different parts of your life, when somebody who doesn't get it is calling you that and they have, they have that ability to make the decision of whether you go home or not. They have the ability to make your life more difficult in the workplace. They have authority over you. When an authority figure is viewing you as that, not as, yo, we're cool, but, yo, you're this. And it's okay because you guys use it too. I love the word. Right? I use the word around white people all the time. And it's not really necessary. That's the shit. That's the shit. I don't. I, I'm. I'm like. I'm not gonna say I've never used it. Or, well, I'm not gonna say I haven't. But like in the last year and a half, it's been very, very small. A very small percentage of times that I've used that word in, in around people who I don't feel comfortable using that word back to me. That's my caveat. I feel like that's who I could. I could break, if you will. If I'm not using it around you, don't you fucking use that word around me. You get what I'm saying? Hey, really nice. They, they, they call but, you that. No, this is no, but this is where I draw the line. Oh. I'm at Giorgio Baldi, they fancy call me restaurant, that. Santa Monica. So there were four white chicks enjoying myself. One of them got too comfortable. Oh, yeah, that's my nigga. I literally G-checked her. Whole shit changed. Whole temperature, whole mood. I don't think she should have been G-checked. No, because listen, that's where I draw the line. I draw, listen, that's, and that's, that's the nuance of it. If I keep perpetuating it, then I make someone else feel that they're entitled to utilize that word. Mm. But that may not be the case. You get what I mean? So in Keenan's case, you can't necessarily get him to say the, not use that word, but you can make sure anyone around you is not utilizing that so word. So how can you be in the cloud to use it around a lot of other people, but when somebody else uses it, it's wrong? That's like being, what do you call that again? When you do it, it's called, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be a hypocrite. No, not I don't you, use, him. I don't use, oh, well, yeah, it, it, you, know, yeah. you know how you do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, like, there's the shadow over here. You're talking about shadow. Uh, but I yeah, man, you. it's love, man. I, I, I want, I want for you, you to you. feel love that love. love. You know you. what I'm saying? I want you to feel it. You deserve that embrace, man. You have done so much and continue to do, bro. This is a lot of people over here, like, you know, getting a check or some shit or whatever that are involved with some shit that is helping their life. With you sitting here chilling and talking to us. You know what I'm saying? You are a major walking blessing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something, bro. This is what I learned in life. A lot of these guys that have these names you talk about, king and great and all mm -hmm. this shit. Mm -hmm. I met a lot of those people. A lot of them not good people. Right. So fuck them. Yeah. It's just the real thing. All these fucking fancy names, baller, king. Who have they helped? Who do they love? Yeah. Themselves. Well, don't let me nickname you. Let me just tell you that you, the person, oh. are fantastic. So highly worse. Thank you. I mean, at the moments that we've been able to spend together, I don't even know if you remember coming and doing what's up with that and we kicked it in the dressing room and we were smoking and chilling. Well, you were smoking and chilling. <laughs> but, you know what I mean? You could just tell he, he don't even, sometimes he don't even feel comfortable hearing those compliments. It makes him uncomfortable. <clears throat> it's been a bunch of times. I've, I've, I watch hot boxing a lot, I can't lie. Seen it on a multiple occasions. You know, everybody that that comes to that podcast reveres Mike because this dude. A lot of the times, not all the times, but like a lot of these dudes of the hood dudes, man. And one of the things that's valued in the hood is like being able to work with your hands. You know what I'm saying? If you could work with your hands, that's something that garners you respect out of fear in a lot of ways because he'll really rock your shit clearly but also the discipline if you go with these you have to take a couple of them too so there's a there's a there's a discipline involved and an education but also too you know what i mean a lot of times depending on the age of the people but like these are <laughs> these are these are like 
this is like their childhood hero. Mike Tyson was was a was a a world renowned athlete, one of the most popular people on the face of the planet. So when they come here and they're talking to him, they have this level of admiration for him, and they're always very upfront and saying how they feel about what they what it is like uh, what it is that he's done for them or what he's meant to them and he, i can see he often feels kind of uncomfortable by that and i think that that comes from a degree of humbleness that he has you know what i'm saying i mean like your presence bro like i don't think anybody comes into your presence and takes that shit for granted and that mm -hmm. is yeah not a lot of people like that you know what i'm saying like it's you said thing. certain kings is pieces yeah. of shit notoriously you know what i mean so don't let me nickname you with generics I'm just saying, like, those are the words that come to mind because of that, that fucking, you know, presence that you have. When you walk into a room, it's like a fucking lion, bro. It's like a, there's a loose lion in the room. Yeah, <laughs> and motherfuckers need yeah, to recognize good. that shit. Well, then it was, now when I'm in the room, it's love. Yeah, that's what it should be. At that time, that I had to be a lion then, but I don't have to be a lion now. Which one did you prefer? Be he, real. He's more, um... How what I'm gonna say, this guy over here, the lying guy, gets you everything you want, but he just takes too much in return. Mm -hmm. It's crazy because anytime I've heard him use that like that dynamic, if you will, he refers to it as an outside force. I remember when he was training up for the I don't know, was it was the Roy Jones fight. So, and he was, and I forgot who came up there. It was like, um, Sugar Ray, Sugar Ray Leonard came up, and that's when he started crying. He was like, Yeah, I see that guy, and I don't want him to come out. You know what I mean? Like, he, he kind of refers to it as like a, a, a an outside figure. He doesn't refer to it in the first person all the time, at least. But yeah, I love this conversation. I love this conversation. I think this is a conversation that needs to be had more often, truth be told. Not even for the sense or for the sake of, yo, we got to stop it. I don't, I'm not, I'm not in the business. And I don't think anybody really should be in the business of trying to convince people that their mind is wrong. But you can get enlightened or be offered a different perspective on a matter because you've talked to somebody who maybe framed it up in a way that you weren't able to see. I think that, you know, we don't we don't always give each other or give ourselves enough credit. A lot of people may only see themselves as a nigga. And if that's the case, listen, you could be a rich nigga, you could be a great nigga, you could be a broke nigga, you could be a whack nigga. There's a whole bunch of niggas that you could be in the world, you know, but before you're a nigga, you're a man. You're a black man. Now, African American, now all the other, you're, you're a black man. You know what I'm saying? And you're a man. You're a person. You're an individual. You're a being. So, your circumstances definitely uh, shape the way that you view things, but you are not the product of your circumstance alone. There's a lot of other factors. There's a lot of other people that came out of your same circumstance and went a different route. Shit, there may be a lot of people who went the same route that you did and didn't make it for one reason or another. But it begs the question, man, if I was able to do this coming from where I come from, am I special? And if you're special, I don't think it's because you, you, you did it because you were a nigga. You did it because you were you, you know? Shit, that's all I got on the matter. Um, I love this. I love this conversation. I really do love this conversation. It's very interesting. I think that needs to happen more often. If you guys enjoyed this, let me know in the comments. Well, I know if you guys enjoyed it. If absolutely nobody watches this, then you know what I mean. That's just <laughs> the, the nature of YouTube, I suppose. You just uh, striking, trying to trying to see what you can get out of whatever. But I mean, above all else, even if this video doesn't do well. I'm thankful that I posted it because even if nobody sees it, I gave my take on something that I feel like is very important, especially within our community. And even from some people outside of the community, I would love to hear what you have to think about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, man, like that.
It's cool hands with another reaction, talking my shit as usual. You know, uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate it, especially if you made it to the end. You're really, you're really dope, and I, I appreciate you even wanting to listen to me talk about anything for thirty something minutes, man. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a blessing, and I don't, I don't take it for granted at all. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm out for this, baby. Wow.